Local residents have been gathering in the village of Lip Hook in East Hampshire tonight. It's over fears that a piece of land once given to a wildlife organisation could end up with 175 homes on it. A number of years ago, a house and land were donated to the World Wildlife Fund, as it was known then by Lord Holman. But it's since been sold and it could be developed. Joe Campbell has a story. Outside, the weather was balmy. Inside, Liphook's Millennium Hall was rapidly filling up for the debate on the hot topic here. Plans for a new school, medical centre, football pitch and, controversially, almost 150 homes on the edge of the South Downs National Park. What is green about green village developments? Because there is nothing. The only green there is is the greenbacks they're going to make in the profit. And you're just going to rape Liphook and then move on to somewhere else which is what you people do. Schools, medical centres, football pitches, cricket pitches are great and they affect a certain proportion of the, the population, but the one thing that does affect the whole population of Liphook is the traffic congestion. What's on offer is a genuine mixed-use um, development for community facilities that are needed, and I would ask you to contrast that with the type of development that you've been served up with over the last 10 years or so. But this is no conventional planning row. Everything you can see as far as the eye can see, it was hers. At the heart of it is land gifted to the Worldwide Fund for Nature. Eddie Trotter is the nephew of Lady Betty Holman, who with her husband left the land to the charity. She would be turning in her grave thinking it's been left like this, and not to the any benefit of the people of Lippock. The WWF, which will benefit if the development here goes ahead, insists its sale of the land was within the spirit of the legacy. But for many here tonight, it remains a controversial decision by a charity they thought was there to protect the environment and not to sell land to developers so they could build homes in one of Britain's national parks. Joe Campbell, BBC South Today, Lipok.